Hi, I'm Lisa Prather, and welcome to The Voice of Health with our host, Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, where lives are changed every day through the natural approach to health care. Well, today we're going to talk about arm and shoulder conditions. Tis the season, spring, where um, we had a handful of people in yesterday with arm and yeah, starting shoulder. to get into the golfing and tennis and mm-hmm. baseball and uh, softball and all those good things, and uh, people are coming in with the injuries now. Yeah, well, let's talk about that, Dr. Prather. What percentage of patients do you have that have arm and shoulder conditions? I it's about fifty percent. Wow. It, you know, it's it's interesting. I had a, a gentleman who came in for his uh, low back, and I was doing an exam on him and uh, said, wow, your shoulder's not moving hardly at all, you know, because mm-hmm. I was getting, you know, just palpating and doing some motion on that. And he says, oh, you know, he's about 45. And he said, I actually injured it in high school. Mm-hmm. And I've had about six different physical therapists and doctors and injections and nothing's really worked on it so uh you know he says i've just kind of learned how to live with it and take it from there and i said well let's also see if we can't work with that Mm -hmm. so started working with him and within like three visits he was saying wow my shoulder feels better than it ever has wow so you know it's interesting how many people have given up on their problem Mm mm-hmm in other words, they've got a lot going on, uh, but uh, really haven't been able to find the answers for it. Mm-hmm. So not only are there recent injuries, but also we get on a lot of people in here who have had uh, injuries in the past and just never really got a result and decided that's something they'll just have to live with. Mm. So why do so many people have arm and shoulder injuries? <clears throat> well, you know, you think about how much we use our our hands and our arms it's a pretty pretty oftenly used Mm -hmm. area and you know it requires a lot of mobility in there you know it's it's quite amazing all the different motions Mm -hmm. that uh, our hands elbows shoulders uh, actually are able to do and to be able to do those there's some rather it could be a very unstable type of an area to get that amount of motion in there and then <clears throat> oftentimes people do repetitive types of injuries. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we we actually have, like, golfer's elbow. We have uh, swimmer's elbow. shoulders. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, you know, so all the different types of activities that people do on a repetitive type of basis, you know, even in their work, uh, it isn't really something that we were made to do. There was supposed to be a lot of different types of motions, but not something that's done, you know, uh, 200 times in a day. Mm-hmm. And when you think about the shoulder, it's a ball and socket, right. you know, with ligaments and muscles around it. And yeah, it has the rotator cuff that holds it into place, and those aren't very big muscles. Mm-hmm. So if you get it into some type of injury, don't have it taken care of, it can be a chronic problem pretty quickly. Yeah, and we even get uh, power lifters in here, or, you know, that overdo it and... Um, have those massive muscles sure uh, yeah it's uh, just my son he's a uh, our son uh-huh. is a uh, bodybuilder and yeah, just he's my son too yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah he uh, he is uh, lifting pretty heavy weights and just injured his shoulder just recently uh, came right in and said you know I've hurt my shoulder again uh, got it uh, adjusted Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, next day he was fine. But if he hadn't have gotten that care right away, that could have become a chronic type of problem. Interesting. So what is your success rate with the arm and shoulder conditions? Uh, we are we're have a very high, I would say, about 90%. Mm-hmm. You know, some things are, are permanent, but uh, even the ones that uh, are are very severe, we can get some excellent improvement. Uh, we have uh, uh, people who come in with uh, rheumatoid arthritis mm-hmm. and a lot of damage into the shoulder. You're not going to get that fixed mm-hmm. where it's normal, uh, just because of the the uh, damage that's happened to the cartilage, to the joint itself. But uh, even in those cases, we can make a huge amount of improvement where we get about 50% more movement in through there, uh, get the pain level uh, down from a 
from a nine to you know a three, mm-hmm. and the patient's very happy along those lines. Mm-hmm. But you know, there's there's really no situation that we can't make uh, some definite improvement. And the vast majority, about ninety percent, we completely clear up the problem uh, with it. Um, so why does the Prather practice have such a high success rate in treating the, the arm and shoulder? Uh, what is it that you do? Well, I was just discussing that with uh, a, uh, a patient who had um, actually some scapular issues mm-hmm. uh, because, uh, as she said, it was since college, and she's already in her 50s. Mm-hmm. And really had never, had gone to quite a few different doctors, physical therapists, to try to get that fixed. And this is the first time that she's had real relief. And it's it's been something that she hadn't even noticed, you know, that that was uh, possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was a little bit discouraged there at the beginning, but I said, hang on. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it. I told you how many visits it's going to take. You know, <laughs> hang with us. Uh-huh. And then all of a sudden she saw you know, things kind of settle down. And it, it's one of the best things that, that we do is a combination of, of treatments. Mm-hmm. The, uh, y- you know, you can go to a physical therapist and get, you know, the exercises. Mm-hmm. You can go to a chiropractor separately. Mm-hmm. You can go to an acupuncturist. Uh, you can go to a medical doctor who can give you shots and different types of areas, uh, you know, to mm-hmm. actually work with that. Uh, the thing that we really find is that we combine everything at once. Mm-hmm. In other words, we have such a broad array of treatments in different ways of approaching uh, a problem that it's the combination of the treatments. Uh, we have a 8,000 square foot um, uh, office. We have 20 employees. Uh, in other words, we will hit your shoulder, elbow, wrist uh, from uh, eight different directions. <laughs> yeah, and pa- patients comment about that, you know. Um, and you're right. If I always say patient, patience. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> I can tell whether this, you know, whether the, you know, what we're doing is going to work or not. Right, you know, and so, if it's not, right, we, we refer we, them on. Yeah, uh-huh. we, we let them know. We try to let people know because the last thing we want to do is to say that we're going to fix something and not be able to. Mm-hmm. So keeping the patient informed is extremely important, but the patient having a a attitude of, of yes, this is going, you know, I developed this over 30 years. <laughs> and you can't fix it in one or two visits? Three visits, we're <laughs> not going to have, a, you know, I can tell the difference, uh-huh. you know, whether it's, it's improving or not. I, I had one patient who was uh, just recently, again, another patient who had been uh, four times, and they said, well, you know, I'm not feeling any, any different yet. And I said, well, let's go back to our original evaluation. Mm-hmm. You know, you had uh, this huge area where it was covering from your pain, where it was covering, going down to your wrist all the way up to your neck. Mm-hmm. Now it's only in a, this area, which is about 90% smaller. Uh-huh. Of where it was. Yes, it still hurts, but you see how that's shrunk. Uh-huh. And he goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I do remember that, but it still hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so if we've reduced it 90% down to more of an isolated area, don't you think if we give a little time, I can get the rest of the 10%? Mm-hmm. And he goes, yeah, that makes sense. I says, yeah, we're, we're going to get it. Right. Just, you know, hang in there. You know, so helping people to understand because they forget people's, people's yeah. awareness. Yes, it's it. The body has a means of forgetting pain, discomfort, and not really realizing where they came from. And, that, and there's a good reason for that. There's a good reason for that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we do outcome assessments when they first come in, and, and on the tenth visit. And it's real interesting, um, the differences in those outcome assessments, you know, evaluate their pain levels, their function, mm-hmm. you know, how um, how they're functioning. And, you know, they go, that's right. I was here and now I'm here. 
you know. And it's great to do those outcome assessments because um, they realize sure. the improvement they've made. Well, it's very important. Examination is, is critical to, to know what needs to be done, where they are, whether we're making improvement. Uh, you know, it's it's an important part and a, a very big part of what we do here. Well, Dr. Prather, is surgery sometimes necessary? Yes. Absolutely, but one of the interesting things is if you go to, if you have a shoulder, elbow injury or a wrist injury and you go to a, a orthopedic surgeon, uh, your chances of getting a surgery are about 25%. Hmm. You know, that that's mm-hmm. that's a good number. If you go to a structure function office where they don't do surgery and they would refer out the the number of surgery surgeries that people wind up having go from 25 percent down to two percent mm. so you know you know having a good understanding of of where you're going and who you're seeking out for your treatment uh, if you really don't want to have surgery but still want to get the uh, the improvement Mm-hmm. You know, starting with a structure function type of doctor, you know, who mm-hmm. does the physical medicine is a very, very good idea because your chances of having the surgery then reduce quite dramatically. You said 20, from 25% to 2%. 2%. And all those, you know, you, you have better outcomes mm-hmm. than if, you know, if you had, if you had the surgery. Surgery should be a, a last resort because there's an awful lot that can't be undone after the surgery. You're always going to have poor function in that type of situation, though there are definite times where it is necessary. Okay, when we come back, let's talk more about the structure function approach to arm and shoulder conditions. You can win a free 60-minute massage in a relaxing spa at the Prather Practice. Each month, we have a drawing to give away a free massage to one of our lucky Facebook and Twitter fans. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. This is The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. The Voice of Health Wellness Tip with Dr. Robert Prather of the Prather Practice. Why did you incorporate massage into your practice? I believe that massage is an extremely important part of one's uh, wellness, Mm -hmm. uh, health regimen. It's something that everyone should have done at least once a month. Mm-hmm. Uh, if not more often, uh, just to maintain a good, healthy type of a uh, program in their system. As you work with the muscles and the soft tissue, uh, you can actually create a, a tremendous amount of changes that occur. There are hormonal changes, there are physiological changes on balance. It's a very important part of one's health and, and wellness. Yeah, it's much more than and just feels feeling good. good. Well, it feels good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot more. What what types of massage services do you do at your office? Well, interestingly enough, there are a lot of different ways that um, massage actually can uh, be involved in someone's health. And people don't realize how many types of massage there actually are. Mm-hmm. There's lymphatic, uh, there's muscle, there's deep deep muscle, uh, there's uh, reflexology, there's electromagnetic, there's neurological, there's uh, ones that can actually wake you up, some that can uh, relax you, uh, some that can balance out your uh, emotional states. So there's a tremendous amount of different types of massage that can be affected on your system. And who would benefit from massage? Uh, everyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you have tight muscles, uh, and I'm sure most people out there don't, uh, <laughs> a higher than average stress level, Mm-hmm. Uh, then massage can really prolong your life, uh, reduce your blood pressure, uh, increase your chances of, of preventing uh, cardiovascular and cancer. And especially if you're in a high-stress position, uh, definitely take the time out for massage. Here we have member pricing for our spa services for once-a-month massage at $59 a month, Wow, which is great. That is good. Our massage therapist, we have from 11 years' experience to 25 years' experience um, with our massage therapist. So, yeah. And there's nowhere else in town that you can get that kind of um, quality you know, massage for that price. It is a uh, medical-level massage at a, uh, that's a very good price. Mm-hmm. $59. Uh, yeah. We also have uh, a medical doctor on staff, nurse practitioner, uh, chiropractic, acupuncture. Uh, we have all the diagnostics here so that, you know, you can feel very assured that you have uh, the support, 
you know, of a whole healthcare professional team that is behind the massage therapist, too. Schedule your appointment at the Prather Practice, 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. Or learn more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. The Prather Practice, restoring hope. You're listening to The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, the most comprehensive wellness center in the Midwest. Well, we're talking today about the structure function approach to the arm shoulder conditions. And Dr. Prather, we were talking about, you know, people are using um, their upper extremities a lot more. Um, you know, we have what we call repetitive uh, injuries. Um, injuries and... Um, we're seeing a lot of people in our office coming in, getting back on the golf course, um, and tennis, and now pickleball, and sure. softball, and baseball. Um, but, you know, the shoulder's a pretty hypermobile joint. Mm-hmm. And, um, like you said, with a lot of small muscles around it, what is the anatomy, you know, of the shoulder, elbow? Sure. It, there's an awful lot involved in that. The shoulder itself is a ball and socket, so you have the uh, humerus up there attached to the to this uh, <coughs> uh, uh, socket, mm-hmm. where it's just kind of sitting in there. And then you have ligaments, tendons, and muscles that surround it that hold it in, into place. So it's pretty easy to, to injure that, mm-hmm. and it's pretty easy to pull it out of place. Uh, there can be a lot of tearing, uh, there can be overstretching, there can be um, fibrous material that can form around there because of long-term types of injuries. Uh, then you have the uh, chromioclavicular joint, which is a, a very small joint that if it's injured, it's a very difficult thing to, uh, to get healed up. Uh, you have the scapula, uh, which is back there that moves around and is part of that whole motion. You have several muscles that connect then t- from the neck down to the shoulder and then from the, uh, the uh, thorax up to the shoulder, holding it in place to get all those type, different types of motions. Then you go down to the elbow and then you have the whole uh, supination, pro- pronation mm-hmm. uh, movement that's in there that is very small bones uh, uh, that uh, can really be uh, easily injured. Mm-hmm. You have all the little tiny bones in the wrist. So it's it's a wonder that people don't have more problems. Mm-hmm. So it, it's a, a lot of nerves go through there. Uh, it's something that can be, uh, one, easily injured. Uh, it can be a little difficult to fix. And uh, approaching it from uh, having a good understanding of the whole system, I'm not going to go and mm-hmm. bore people with a whole huge anatomy type of a of a uh, uh, explanation, but it, in other words, it's 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 a wonder that more people don't have prob- more problems. Right. right. You know, it's it's amazing the dexterity that comes with that. Uh, our well, hands, I was just thinking, even you know, with posture, you know, people are coming in with rounded shoulders. Sure. Head forward, rounded shoulders. Um, yeah, it, it's interesting because we have uh, different postures for different types of sports. Uh, one of the things is we had a swimmer come in, and uh, they had what we had, swimmer's posture, which creates a lot of shoulder joint issues, mm-hmm. uh, uh, hyperlordosis, uh, you know, and trying to get that fixed, get some different types of exercises to uh, help with that particular type of repetitive type of motion, because they swim a lot. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so not only did we need to work on the shoulder, but we had to work on the entire posture. And that's true with changes. kids today. You know, they're having to pick one sport and excel in that and the repetitive. Yeah, starting at a very young age, uh, you know, kids who really get into tennis. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, uh, I think it was uh, John McEnroe asked him, who was the uh, best tennis player he ever mentioned? And he said, some odd name. Mm-hmm. And they were like, well, we never heard of him. Well, he was uh, 16. Uh, he just used to kill 
uh, McEnroe, Mm -hmm. you know, out on the court, and he was considered that he was going to be the best. Had an injury to his elbow, had surgery, surgery didn't go well, and he was done. Wow. So, you know, having a concept of what needs to be done, uh, if a kid is in a sport, uh, basically any type of a sport, on a regular basis that they're doing on a constant basis, they're going to need someone to watch their structure, function, and to prevent uh, injuries. Well, let's go right into that. You know, what is the difference between the structure, function, uh, you know, approach um, compared to disease care and treating the arm and shoulder injury? Um, (coughs) Both, of course, are very necessary. But the structure function is is more in trying to bring the body back into a uh, a normal uh, homeostasis. Mm-hmm. So you're talking about uh, physical therapy, exercises, stretching, uh, chiropractic. Don't forget about therapeutic those, massage. Therapeutic and massage, manual therapy. Manual therapy. Uh, there's a, a whole list of different areas along those lines. When you're talking about disease care, you're talking about surgery and pharmaceuticals. Mm-hmm. Now, those can be very helpful, but they don't, you know, in other words, it should be a last resort. Mm-hmm. Because if you're using pharmaceuticals, you know, you're hiding the pain, you're taking down the inflammation, but it's not correcting the underlying problem. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that is not always necessarily to, I mean, that can be helpful, but it doesn't really get to the underlying problem. And then surgery should be definitely a last resort. Once you cut into someone, you know, that's more of a permanent type of problem Mm -hmm. instead of fixing it naturally. Uh, So surgery and pharmaceuticals should be a last resort. Uh, a necessary resort for quite a few people, but it should be a last resort. And getting in there, uh, fixing the problem through all the different types of means that you can through a structure function type of approach, uh, everyone would agree that's the best way to do that. And we're going to talk about that. Uh, uh, but we, when we treat someone here structurally, We talk about passive care and active care. Mm -hmm. Can you talk more about that, Dr. Prather, you know, passive care versus active care? Certainly, and and both of those are are very uh, necessary. Uh, And if you can combine them, then you get better results. Mm -hmm. Uh, When you're talking about passive care, that is care that is done to a patient. Mm-hmm. They so, love that. Yeah, that's, that's, about, you know, that's our favorite part. I had to tell quite a few people that you're moving into active care, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that means i got to work. <laughs> well, the, the passive care is to achieve a, a decrease in pain. Edema. Uh, edema yeah. uh, to uh, get those knots out. And it's it's definitely a feel good type of a of a care. Mm-hmm. And you're talking about a lot of different areas. You're talking about uh, chiropractic adjustments as passive care, uh, acupuncture is passive care, manual therapy where you go in there and work on the muscles, and that's where all the patients drool. They love <laughs> manual therapy. They want to finish with that. <laughs> uh, you're, uh, well, acupuncture people are are really yes. surprised yeah. at how how much that that helps. Uh, you're also talking about all the different uh, therapies uh, that can be done, ultrasound, electrical stim, uh, regular therapy, liniments, uh, mm-hmm. you know, things that you can take, put on there. Uh, all those things, uh, passive care is just kind of like the feel good and, and patients want to continue with that. Mm-hmm. Then we have to work them. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's active care. And very important. Active Mm -hmm. care is really where you get the long-term type of benefits because then you have to correct the situations that that created the problem in the first place. Right. So you have different muscles that need to be strengthened. Uh, Others need to be stretched out. We talk about corrective exercises. Corrective exercises. In other words, we make them work. Yeah, and you were talking about strengthening some of the muscles and stretching the others because we have what we call an upper cross syndrome you know where some muscles have weakened that we need to strengthen and some have um you know are tight and Mm -hmm. need to be stretched um 
So it's very important that you're exercising, you know, the right exercise. Right and correct, correct, you know, because if you do something wrong, you're not going to get the same benefit. Right, right. So, well, let's talk about the different um, modalities you talked about in our passive care, chiropractic being one, um, and how can chiropractic help with arm and shoulder issues? Well, the concept of uh, chiropractic is to take the skeletal structure where it's out of place and put it back into homeostasis and balance uh, exactly where it should be. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it, you know, we've had, uh, you are running the rehab department. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've had other physical therapists and other people involved in that. Athletic trainers. We have <laughs> Every, an exercise physiologist working with me now. Correct. Uh, and it's amazing how much easier it makes everything. Mm-hmm. You know, if the skeletal structure is out of place and you go in there and just do the exercise or anything else, you're not going to get the same results. Right. So the first place that we look at to make the corrections is to make sure that the skeletal structure is back to where it should be. Mm-hmm. The skeletal structure is not where it should be. Uh, and you go in there and exercise it, do a lot of different types of things, you can actually irritate it even more. Mm -hmm. So the results are so much better. And I like people to get their um, chiropractic adjustment first. Yes. Because it does help with everything else if we can start there. Right. And that's the first place that we really look at is making sure that the skeletal structure is back in place And we like to get it in pretty good place even before we start the active care Mm -hmm. because the the motion, all the different types of things that are involved in that just goes so much easier. And, you know, people talk about, well, you know, their eyes get wide Uh when I says I'm going to rearrange your skeletal structure. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, then I do it, and it's like, oh, well, that actually felt good. Uh You know, there was no pain with it. And I said, well, the pain only occurs when you take it out of place. Right. (laughs) There's no pain to putting it back where it should be. Mm -hmm. It it actually, you know, there's an instantaneous relief. People come up and go, oh, my God goodness it feels like i'm cured i'm so well you're not cured uh-huh. you know we still <laughs> right. need don't to go. we've got a whole system that needs right. to occur don't go raking your leaves in right. your whole yard this weekend we have, have a to whole remind plan people. to to work along those lines but it, it really makes a huge difference okay when we come back let's talk more about structure function approach to shoulder and arm conditions Listen to the voice of health radio on your smartphone or tablet on all of the top radio apps available Tune in Radio, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. You can find these apps and more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. This is The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. Laughter is the best medicine. I was driving down Shepherd Drive in Houston and, and somebody cut me off and I slammed on the brakes. And I'll never forget as I was going down thinking, this going to hurt. And I wasn't wearing a helmet, which I know is stupid, but in Texas, we have a don't, uh, uh, you don't have to wear a helmet law because we don't care about our stupid people. <laughs> the ambulance came, they stuck me in there. And you know those ambulances, they, they don't have shocks. You could run over a quarter and tell if it's heads or tails. <laughs> and then they said, what hospital would you like to go to? I said, the nearest one. Are you frustrated by not getting to the root cause of your health issue? Are you tired of not knowing why you're always fatigued? Are you wanting to say no to toxic drugs? Have you lost hope? Are you just tired of being sick and tired? At the Prather Practice, we want you to know that we have the answers for you. We offer the alternative to the disease care model. We are the drug-free model to health and wellness. At the Prather Practice, we look for the underlying cause of your health problem and not just the symptomatology. Through thorough diagnostics, we find your individual health blueprint for your treatment. 
Where the disease care model is symptom-based, the structure function model we practice gets to the root of your health issue. The Prather Practice is the most comprehensive wellness center in the Midwest. Our integrated practice offers you the most treatment options to restore your health and your hope. Learn more about the Prather Practice by calling 317-848-8048 or learn more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. Lisa Prather, and you're listening to The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, where we get to the root cause of your health issue. Well, we're talking today about the structure function approach to the arm-shoulder conditions, and with it being spring, we're seeing a lot of those uh, conditions, people coming in, and um, golfers and tennis players and kids who are playing softball and baseball. Um, So we're talking about the passive care um, and active care. But in passive care, um, Dr. Prather, you just got done talking about chiropractic and the importance there. Um, also, acupuncture can be part of the passive care. And I guess we don't have a, a cookie cutter, you know, treatment plan for everybody that walks in. So everything we're discussing here is part of our passive care. Not that everybody's getting all these things done, um, but these are some things that we have in our passive care. Um, And like you said, we come at it um, at different angles. So many different types of angles, and that that is why we get so much success. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Well, let's talk about acupuncture. Sure. How can acupuncture be of help? Well, a very interesting example on the acupuncture is I I had a gentleman who came in who was a uh, golfer country club and he's in a a group and they go basically he golfs every day Uh and he had a shoulder and and had tried several different types of things and uh, he had uh, uh, like three retired surgeons who he's golfing golfing with with. and uh, they said well you're going to have to have surgery you know, to be able to continue golfing, you know, that's just, that's all it's going to be. And he said, well, you know, you'd had some surgery and still not, you know, you're functional now, but it's not really back where it should be. He said, but you're, you know, there's no way that you can get this done mm-hmm. without having uh, surgery. Mm-hmm. And he made a bet with him. He didn't tell me what the bet was, uh-huh. but he really wanted to win this bet. So he had called around and went and visited all these different pe- people, and he came in here and said, you know, why should I have you fix my shoulder? And I talked to him about all the different types of things and that combination on that and why it's so successful. And he says, you sold me. Uh-huh. That makes sense. So I'm going to come in here, and he says, you know, whatever it takes, get this well because I've got a big bet <laughs> So one you didn't of the, get a percentage of that. No, <laughs> well, I actually, you think you know. And I said, well, this is this is what we need to do. And and he had gotten adjustments on a lot of different types of things, but he hadn't ever had acupuncture with it too. Mm-hmm. And he had a lot of inflammation in there with this particular type of injury. It was rotator cuff. And the thing that really helped him out, you know, is we got the adjustment and then uh, hit it with acupuncture. Mm-hmm. And acupuncture is really quite... Do you have quite to say, hit it with acupuncture? <laughs> <laughs> and it's surprising. You know, he, uh-huh. he said, well, you know, let's, let's give this a try. And that, it was almost instantaneous relief. Mm-hmm. So he was really encouraged with the acupuncture. And the acupuncture uh, is a very excellent anti-inflammatory. Mm-hmm. And it promotes healing. Uh, you, you know, when you have, because his, he, he was kind of a tough old, old bird. Uh-huh. And so he had played through a lot of pain and he had developed a lot of fibrous material in there. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that acupuncture does is it causes an electromagnetic change. It, it is a, a electromagnetic healing mm-hmm. therapy. Mm-hmm. It's a little hard because people aren't really familiar with that, but it has a huge effect on your, on your, uh, system. Matter of fact, if you have scars, 
you know, from surgery or, or a cut or something like that. You can actually use acupuncture, and those scars will disappear. Mm-hmm. Also, internally, as you put the acupuncture in proper position, the body will reabsorb scar tissue, and that was one of his biggest problems that he had with his shoulder. That's why he really wouldn't have had a whole lot of success with a uh, with uh, surgery. surgery. Because of the scar tissue, I think that the surgery would have actually increased the scar tissue. Probably would have been worse off uh, mm-hmm. after the surgery than there. But the acupuncture was really a big key mm-hmm. because it took down the inflammation and over a period of time reabsorbed that scar tissue and then his mobility, his function really improved. So acupuncture is fantastic for uh, inflammation, stimulate healing. Uh, Mm -hmm. I've had people with uh, torn rotator cuffs been able to hit the acupuncture and then didn't need surgery just because of the healing. Mm -hmm. It was just stimulated Mm -hmm. by that. And then one of the biggest things is reabsorption of scar tissue. So hit that, uh, do some uh, particular type of work in there. We also did some Graston work, some really deep manual therapy to help to break that up. But the acupuncture... I, myself, and him said was really the key because he could immediately feel a difference along those lines. It's so and exciting. he won the bet. Oh, he did. He won the bet. He won the bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as long as his golf game's better than the rest. Right? And he's, he's actually come in a couple of times for some quick checks, and he says, yeah, he says, I, I just I always remind these guys that I won that bet. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah, it's, it's so fun when, you know, people do acupuncture for the first time, you yes. know, because they're hesitant, and um, but they do it, and they, they love it, you know. It, it puts them to sleep. Uh-huh. It's surprising because there are some, it's been proven mm-hmm. that there are chemical changes that take place, endorphins that are released from acupuncture, and it has a huge uh, sedating uh, pain uh, it, it improves the body's ability to handle pain. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the big things with the whole opiates. I mean, that's one that mm-hmm. is just such a huge problem. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm treating someone right now for some opiate addiction. Mm-hmm. And it was from uh, just really bad shoulder uh, mm-hmm. injury. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the, it, the problem with the opiates is not only is it addictive, but it decreases your body's ability to uh, to handle pain, mm-hmm. so that you become more sensitive to pain afterwards than what you were bef- before. Mm-hmm. Whereas acupuncture stimulates your own body's uh, pain handling chemicals, mm-hmm. so that over a period of time, as we do the acupuncture, your body's ability to take care and relieve pain over a period of time increases. Mm-hmm. So a, a much better way to do, and that's that's now uh, the Pain Society has, has switched from a pharmaceutical approach to pain mm-hmm. to now where they are recommending that they have chiropractic, physical therapy, acupuncture, and some natural types of products, and the results are far, far better and should be a first line. Uh, the pharmaceuticals should be a last choice mm. just because there are so many problems that's occurred. Uh, we're having, uh, you know, like 22 people die a day in the United States mm-hmm. from opiates. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, a, it's a tragedy, and we need to change our thinking. Yes, yes. Um, let's talk about manual therapy. That's another passive care here. That's the one people love. We it, have it three wonderful massage therapists that do the manual therapy. Um, we have a tool also called the rapid release. If yes. people need that, they can even break up scar tissue. Um, but so how is Dr. Prather manual therapy helpful for resolving arm and shoulder conditions? Well, manual therapy, you're, you're breaking up uh, scar tissue, uh, trigger points, uh, muscle spasms. Uh, that's a that's a great way to do it. We we used to do it by by kind of scraping uh, mm-hmm. the Graston technique, and that wasn't as pleasant. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But we yeah. have a a new device that works better. Uh, it's the rapid release. It's a vibrational type of type of uh, device. 
uh, through clinical studies, it works better than the old method. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> people are much happier with it. Yes. Uh, so that they can go in there. We can the get the muscle that. mower. Yes. <laughs> it, it, and it feels good. It's very relaxing. And it will release the, uh, get rid of the scar tissue. It will release those muscle tensions. And it will it'll help to clear up those uh, trigger points in there. And then they, we also go in there and work it by hand. And that's important because, you know, you're doing the skeletal structure. Yes. You know, putting that back mm-hmm. in place with the chiropractic. Then you're getting the inflammation in the electromagnetic uh, rehealing mm-hmm. and reabsorption of the fibrous material through the acupuncture. And then we're going in there and working on the muscles and getting that release with the manual therapy. So it, it's a whole type of technique along those lines that you're working all the different types of ways of, of approaching it. And, and as you do that combination... Each one by themselves makes a great difference, but if you combine them, mm-hmm. it multiplies the effect. Makes total sense, and I've seen it yes. over and over again. Well, what type of therapies, um, other modalities do you have in the passive care that you find useful? It, we have uh, a shortwave diathermy, which is excellent for getting blood flow. Mm-hmm. Let's say we have a situation where people uh, have a fibrous material in there, which cuts down a lot on the blood flow, so you get a chronic type of condition. We go on ahead, hit it with a diathermy, it brings in a lot of blood, opens it up, really relaxes the muscles. Ultrasound for breaking up, uh, again, scar tissue is another means that we can do that. We have uh, electrical stimulation. And, and don't forget auricular therapy. It's is that, one yeah. of the most powerful things. That is. Uh, for pain relief, auricular therapy, there's, there's nothing like it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we use that on uh, cancer patients that uh, are in terrible pain and get uh, amazing results. It, it also stimulates the healing of the nervous system. So if we have damaged nerves, uh, we can use the auricular therapy, and that stimulates uh, nerve regeneration. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have microcurrent, which also uh, we can put directly over there with some natural liniments that will go in and uh, promote healing. Uh, we have about uh, 10 different types of electrical stimulation mm-hmm. uh, that, depending on what we're trying to do, that we can accomplish. Okay. When we come back, let's talk about nutrition and um, the importance it plays in the care of the musculoskeletal conditions. Never miss an episode of The Voice of Health so that you can stay informed and empowered about your health. Get a podcast of our show automatically delivered to you every week by signing up for our show on iTunes. You can find that link on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. And don't forget, thevoiceofhealthradio.com has complete archives of all of our past episodes with an audio library of information to help you add more life to your years and more years to your life. This is The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. The Voice of Health Wellness Tip with Dr. Robert Prather of the Prather Practice. Dr. Prather, what is diathermy? The way that we like to uh, describe it to people is it's a a large coiled magnet that produces a uh, a short wave beam that goes into the body. The main thing that uh, we like it is increasing circulation. The most common thing that we use it for is uh, drainage of the ears, otitis media. Uh, mm-hmm. the, ear, the ear pain, the ear infections. For any mom who's been up with a little one screaming the entire night uh, knows how wonderful it would be to get that under control. <laughs> yeah. I think about uh, one little guy who's just starting to walk, and he had a terrible ear infection. The antibiotics, you know, hadn't really kicked in or done anything at that point. They had heard that uh, we do take care of otitis media and uh, mm-hmm. that that, you know, that we could make a pretty quick cure and uh, the uh, husband was a little bit skeptical, but mm-hmm. they both came in because mom had been up all night and didn't want to drive in. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. And she looked like, oh, help me. Uh-huh. And the little guy was just, you know, thrashing and uh, in so much pain. So we brought him in and 15 minutes on the diathermy. He was laughing and, you know, looking around and waving at everybody. And, and they just kind of looked at me like, what the heck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> How did this occur? Uh-huh. And we find that 15 minutes on the diathermy will just take away the pain, mm-hmm. just like that. So it's something that uh, is very easy to do, safe, uh, very effective, 
mm-hmm. and uh, uh, people just uh, are amazed by the changes that occur in their sinuses and those eustachian tubes and in those ears and and moms can bring in get their child done and and they're good yeah that child's not continually going on antibiotic after antibiotic destroying their gut and right their weakening the immune, immune system, system. Uh, you can cause permanent too many antibiotic treatments can cause permanent damage to the uh Immune system, uh, much better way of treatment is uh, the diathermy unit. Mm-hmm. Anyone with any type of ear problems, uh, or, you know, ear infection, otitis media, going up into the sinuses and vertigo, uh, also tinnitus. Extremely important for tinnitus. Uh-huh. So any of our patients with tinnitus, uh, the recommendations are always to have diathermy because the diathermy does make an absolutely incredible difference with the tinnitus and uh, getting that under control. Schedule your appointment at the Prather Practice, 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. Or learn more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. The Prather Practice, restoring hope. Don't stop You're listening to The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, where our mission is restoring hope to our patients. So we're talking today about the structure function approach to arm and shoulder conditions. And we were talking before we went to break, Dr. Prather, about passive versus active care. Uh, We talked about uh, chiropractic manipulation, how important that is for this uh, skeletal structure, acupuncture. Um, In passive care, we also do trigger point injections um, or trigger points. How are they treated at your office? Well, uh, trigger points are are little areas of fibrous material within the muscle and can cause a lot of pain and dysfunction. So getting rid of those is a very important part of what we do also. Uh, We do some manual therapy to get that out, some trigger point therapy where we actually do some Spray and stretch is another way. Uh, some point uh, holding. People love that spray. Yeah. That, actually, they, <laughs> well, they love it, but it, yeah. Yeah, it's a little cold. <laughs> cold. Uh, and then we also do some uh, trigger point injections, and it's a um, uh, lidocaine with some saline solution, and it gets the uh, muscles relaxed and uh, does wonders for getting those trigger points out. Uh, we've had people who've uh, had trigger points in their tight shoulders or, or tight uh, arms for 20 years, and uh, nothing seemed to work. Uh, even They had even done trigger points before, but one of the nice things that we do is we do the trigger point, and then we go in there and immediately work it with manual therapy, mm-hmm. a rapid release or by hand, and uh, that really relieves it. And then we also strap it where we have some strapping that holds it into place so that the muscle is worked uh, as we as they are walking around and it keeps it uh, held in place that it actually works and uh, that's one of the big secrets that we do is the combination mm-hmm. again we keep talking about combination therapies right and the combination on that is what really gets those trigger points out some of those hard to relieve uh, muscles and knots mm-hmm. that people have had for years and years and years. And uh, that that's a very effective means of, of working that. Well, and it's, you know, um, holistic, too. Yes. You know, um, yes. and the way we the way we treat. So let's talk about active care. What is active care and what does it entail? Well, active care is, is where we get more of the permanent types of changes. We're, we're not just in relieving uh, the, uh, the pain and disability, but to reset the person so that their structure, their habits, their strength, their tensions uh, are back to a homeostasis. And as they do that, then they don't re-injure the, the, uh, the site. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the things that's frustrating is to continually going back uh, every year to get the same thing treated, Mm -hmm. Uh, whereas if you can do some active care, some exercises, then you get much more of a permanent type of a change. Right. Uh, Because the the function, how it's working, is different than what it was before that created the problem originally. So active care is is strengthening the the weak muscles, uh, stretching out the uh, and getting the flexibility, 
and the uh, proper tone in the other muscles, and uh, uh, you do that by making people work. <laughs> that's why they call it active care. Uh huh. That's right. And it's not as much of a favorite for people. <laughs> and and we focus on you know it's corrective care, so it's very important too that they're supervised um, when they do it. Let's talk about that. Why why is that important, Dr. Pray? That is so important. You know, people say, well, you know, you showed me how to do the exercises. I can go home and do them. Right. And then you bring them back the next day and say, well, you know, you show me how you're doing them. Mm-hmm. And then we get them back in, and, and they're not, it's very precise type of exercises. Mm-hmm. So people need to be reminded. They start to drift on how they're doing it. Even doing them on your own without someone observing, you could be doing it wrong. Right. And it's, sometimes it's not even that difficult of work, but the precision of exactly how you move the shoulder, how you move the arm, uh, how you do the plank, all those different types of things makes an incredible difference on the effectiveness of the active care. And if you are doing them wrong, you can act, you can make yourself worse. Mm-hmm. So having supervision for a period of time, then once things are in pretty good position, then it's not quite as important for the maintenance. Mm-hmm. But while you're doing the active care, you need to be supervised by someone who can watch you and make sure that you're doing them absolutely correct because that's when you get the best results. Well, tell me, too, um, I know you'll go right into that elbow area, Mm -hmm. and the patients will say, how did you know that was tender? You know, what what are you doing there, and um, what are you working on? But, you know, as you are are working on people, there's a couple things, and people are amazed that I can go right to the area of a Mm -hmm. problem. But as I'm observing people, you can see different types of motions, different ways that people are holding it, and there are patterns that people have. So I know if this particular issue is going on, you probably got a problem here. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's a matter of, of uh, knowing how the body works, how it's all put together. And sometimes, you know, the problem that people are experiencing uh, sometimes people are thinking that it's their their elbow that's the issue, mm-hmm. whereas it's up higher. You know, it could be in the shoulder or in the jaw. And as I get that release, then the elbow problem that had been lingering for years and years and nobody could fix, all of a sudden is fixed. Is that the, the elbow joints? Yeah, everything's <laughs> connected. Mm-hmm. And understanding how the whole functionality of the body and how it works is extremely important. So someone who's really educated along those lines is is a critical part of people's care. And and just because, and I have so many people who come in for a different type of problem, and they say, well, I've been living this with this other problem for 20 years. I'm sure it can't be fixed. Mm-hmm. It's amazing how many of those we fix, which is the vast majority of them. Yeah. And I know, too, when people have wrist problems, they think people come in, well, I have carpal tunnel. Sure. And you find... and. It, yeah, uh, it's much more. It, more often, it's a palmaris longus syndrome uh, mm-hmm. that's pressing down on the median nerve. Uh, I've had uh, many people who came in and they were getting checked, and they said, "I'm scheduled for uh, carpal tunnel surgery." Mm-hmm. And I said, "Well, that's not really necessary uh, because it's not really a carpal tunnel syndrome, mm-hmm. or they've had surgery and it really didn't relieve it, and it wasn't a true carpal tunnel syndrome." But even carpal tunnels. Uh, we adjust the uh, wrist bones and usually can get the, the pressure off that nerve. You have bones in your wrist? <laughs> yes. Uh, you so even the carpal tunnel, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, uh, the surgery over uh, the first couple of years, surgery does really well. But if you go uh, into the five year, usually you start to get some fibrous material. And oftentimes, peop- they find that people would be better off if they never had the surgery in the first place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, finding an alternative to surgery and always trying to uh, find that alternative first is a is a excellent idea. Mm-hmm. Very, important. Very important. Well, when you yeah, you, there's so much mobility going on, you know, in the shoulder, and so much um, overuse with that. So. Um, we have a minute left. Mm-hmm. 
How would you like to sum up the structure function approach to the the shoulder and the arm conditions? Again, bringing the body back into homeostasis, uh, finding out uh, where the uh, good diagnostics is always critical, uh, having a good evaluation, and then not giving up on things and finding not just a disease doctor that you're seeing, but also finding a uh, doctor who is versed in structure Mm -hmm. function really makes a a huge difference in people's care. So I recommend that everybody have an exam at least once a year. Mm -hmm. And then also everyone should have a structure function doctor who can evaluate and see what needs to be done. And oftentimes a lot of the old problems that people were dealing with can be taken care of through proper care and uh, get them back up to par. Right. Get him back out on that golf course and uh, oh, up to par. <laughs> Did you catch is that? that? Is that Did a you golf catch term? that little? <laughs> <laughs> We're not golfers. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Prather. Structure function approach to the arm and shoulder conditions. Thank you. The Prather Practice is located at 8902 North Meridian Street on the north side of Indianapolis, just south of the I-465 Loop. If we can help you to achieve better health, we'd love to hear from you. Connect with our office at 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. Join us again here next week or anytime on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com for The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. The Prather Plan Weight Loss Program is safe, comprehensive, medically supervised, and designed just for you. Forget the trendy diets and instead start with a roadmap that actually resets your body's metabolism for optimal fat burning and increased energy. The Prather Plan has 6, 10, or 14-week programs with a proven record of success and with guaranteed weight loss. The Prather Plan is an individualized program that is tailored to your needs to create healthy new habits in your life. You'll receive support from a certified health counselor, a nutritionist, and an exercise physiologist for maximum results. Many weight loss programs can include unhealthy loss of muscle or organ weight. We target your ideal body fat percentage so you can lose body fat in a healthy way where the pounds stay off. Contact the Prather Practice today to schedule a consultation and create a healthier you. 317-848-8048 or on the web at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. The Prather Practice. Restore Restoring hope.